Right, Rob, thank you. Stunning conclusions from a state board that has indefinitely suspended the medical license of a Minnesota doctor in connection to the jailhouse death of Hardell Sherrill. It's a death the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice has found egregious and said should never have occurred. Fox 9 has reported extensively on this case since he died in the Beltrami County Jail in Bemidji back in 2018. Our Paul Bloom has more now on the doctor who has now lost the right to practice medicine in this state. In men now! In men now! In men now! Hardell Sherrill's mother has fought for justice for more than three years now since the torturous death of her 27-year-old son inside the Beltrami County Jail. Paralysis in the face, drooping of the side of the face and all of the signs. A layman could tell there was something absolutely wrong with Hardell. Cheryl's deteriorating health over several days, apparently from a rare medical condition in which the body's immune system attacks the nerves causing paralysis, was caught on jailhouse video cameras. According to these recent findings from the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice, correctional and medical staff inexcusably concluded that the inmate was faking his symptoms. Quote, no evidence could convince him otherwise. Even in his final hours, as he sat in a wheelchair in filthy scrubs with urine streaming down his legs, his caregivers would not believe him. This week, the board indefinitely suspended the medical license of Dr. Todd Leonard, who was the attending physician for Sheryl. The fact that he had taken an oath to save lives and chose to do absolutely nothing to save my son's life is, is just, I'm, I, it just makes me sick to my stomach. In addition to the license suspension that kicks in March 1st, barring Leonard from practicing medicine and surgery indefinitely in Minnesota, the board also fined Leonard $30,000. The scathing order concluding, quote, a tragedy like this should never have occurred and it must never be allowed to happen again. I don't think he's a doctor at all. I'll never call him Dr. Todd Leonard. He's Todd Leonard because he is a businessman. He's about the money. He certainly isn't about the care and well-being of, of people uh, in whatever situation they're in. For his part, Leonard provided a statement to Fox 9 reading in part, quote, this death was a tragedy, but to my core, I believe our care was appropriate, especially given the incredibly rare nature of this patient's condition. Ardell's mother, meanwhile, has an ongoing federal lawsuit related to her son's death and has demanded charges against those involved in his jailhouse care as a federal criminal probe continues to play out. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.